hello youtube welcome back to my video so in this video i am going to show you how to overcome uh, the error some of the user permission are not approved by facebook for some apps so i'll explain why uh, this uh, this pop-up is coming uh, on uh, login in your facebook app so this is i have just uh, created a, a login with facebook uh, using a Facebook app ID, I have created a, an app here, Facebook app. So I have an ID here. So uh, this is developed in a uh, Java JSP uh, project. So this is the same way which you can use in your any other PHP or, or uh, any other project which is supporting HTML. So I have my index.jsp here where I'll put my a app ID here. So in this uh, index.jsp, I'm go. I am trying to take a public profile email and and user post uh, using uh, a dynamic login from user okay so this code is available in this page uh, developer dot facebook facebook login dot uh, slash web just go down you can see here full code example so this is the uh, page which I have just created there and you can see here uh, the app ID here uh, is there and this is the uh, page I have just pasted here and I have uh, done a small modification to get the user info to another page so uh, basically this is the same code and you can use uh, this this is an HTML page you can use it uh, in uh, in any of the project uh, which is supporting HTML okay so when I'm trying to log in here you can see here if I'm just logging here it will ask for my uh, username and password and I have already logged in at in this browser so you can see here submit for review some of the user permission not approved by Facebook so why this error comes okay I'll explain why this error comes by default uh, Facebook is allowing uh, the uh, default Facebook app or newly newly created Facebook app only some of the user fields okay so uh, to get what all the user fields you can see here just go to app review and uh, you can see here only approved items what uh, you can take from uh, the user is uh, email profile picture and user friends only three these three fields are, uh, you are allowed to take uh, from user if uh, if it's a freshly created app so if you need for example i'm trying to take uh, in this page you can see i'm trying to take user post and basically the user post is not approved uh, by default okay so if you want to add uh, a, a new uh, or a new field so i have just already submitted for the user post to get uh, the information so i can try to add here what all the fields which i need so for example i need to get uh, the user birthday so we have to select this one and uh, just click on add one item so we have uh, so by clicking add one item we are we are requesting the Facebook to get the permission for that so before uh, going to the final uh, final uh, process we have to uh, finish these uh, things so I'm not going to explain how or to do or that because it's a simple thing you can uh, uh, go by step by step to get further for the user submission okay so what if we need to test uh, the uh, the project without getting uh, the user permission so as I told uh, by default we cannot uh, get the user post from a user okay so what if uh, we need to test our uh, Facebook app uh, and uh, and uh, further we will after getting the approval so before getting the approval we should test our app if uh, the uh, the user uh, our app is taking the user post correctly from uh, the user so what if how we can test that without uh, any uh, the approval final approval from uh, the Facebook okay so uh, there is uh, a way which Facebook is uh, providing for the developers to get uh, or to test their user I mean to test their uh, to test their uh, codes without getting the final approval from the Facebook okay so here is how we can do you can go to the roles here and you can add a test user so basically this test user will be having uh, the specific permission which we are allocating to them so I have already created two uh, Facebook uh, test users I'll create a new one also for your uh, for your knowledge so just click on add and once you click on add just uh, Select this one or the rest test users to use this app and just fill out what are the user permission which we ha you have you want to allow. So I need to allow for the user post. Okay, 
so once i have uh, allowed the user post and just click on create test user so basically this uh, user we can use for testing and uh, this user is already allocated uh, for the approval of uh, the user post okay same uh, as i created the same one here i have already created this one and i'll try to log in to this user and i'll show you what uh, this user is having and let me go to oh my okay now i have just opened my facebook login page so i'm going to log in uh, with this user so let me copy paste the email id so this is a test email id uh, don't worry of that just i'm going to uh, log in with that email id so i have set the password for that just click on login so you can see here one side login so this is a test user I have added some of the posts here so i'm going to my home page so in the home page you can see here i have added three test posts okay so uh, as i told i have just uh, allowed uh, the same way uh, i have allowed uh, uh, the uh, permission to take the user post for this user and have it logged into to the facebook uh, user and created three test posts okay now going back to our project let me refresh this one and if i'm so once i click login here you can see here the login pop-up comes and then it will successfully take you back to our project and you can see here the post is coming okay so we have just overcome the error but uh, uh, this is not a permanent uh, way which we have to overcome this uh, the permanent way we to overcome this error is you have to submit for the uh, the permission which we need for your app the specific permission which you need to have uh for your uh, app just add that from here and uh, follow the steps you can uh, successfully submit for a facebook app review so once you got the app uh, for the approval to take that field definitely this would work okay so what we done now is we create a test user here and we have allocated the specific uh, uh, permission for that user and we have just added uh, two three uh, posts uh, or two three uh, uh, changes as per the need, uh, our, our app need and we have tested that here okay so this is how you can overcome uh, this error for testing okay so i'm saying it again this is not a permanent way the permanent way is uh, definitely we have to go for approval from the facebook okay so hope you got this if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and this uh, project source code is there in my videos you can have a look and you can download that i'll share the link uh, for this uh, project in my description you can have it and uh, uh, thanks for watching